Hey yo, what's good you guys? I want to give a big shout out to Electro Kicks. He can fix the lighting on your Nike Air Mags. That includes all of the electronics on the authentic pair and replica pair. He also does Air Mag customs like the photo that you see on your screen. He's also certified on 3D designing and 3D printing. Yo, check out his Instagram for more details on his giveaway. So the shoes in the giveaway come with this custom 3D printed Nike box that slides open and glows with a white swoosh. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is follow me and Electro Kicks on Instagram and tag five people. Be sure to follow him because he's going to be doing a lot more giveaways in the future. I'll link the link to his Instagram down below. All right, y'all enjoy the real restoration video. Yo, my boy gave me one of these spy pens that records everything that you see. It's tied the company of the pen is called Sia. It's spelled C-I-A. Dude, I didn't even know it was recording, but thank God it did because you wouldn't believe what I found at the park again today. So I was at the park again because some kid on the internet told me to kick rocks. I was like, alright, fuck it, I'll kick rocks. So I started kicking these rocks or throwing rocks. And dude, thank God this kid told me to kick rocks because otherwise I would have never found these shoes. I think the dude's screen name was uh, Shaquille Oatmeal 34. But yeah, guys, as I was digging, I found these shoes that look like the Air Mags. They look pretty trash, ain't it? Yo, I can't believe that there's an authentic pair of Air Mags just lying around. Alright guys, let's bring it back to the lab and see what we can do to bring them back to life. Hey, what's up you guys, it's John Manalo. And I'm gonna be restoring a pair of Nike Air Mags. If you guys don't know what these shoes are, they first debuted as a prop item in Back to the Future films. Or should I say only in Back to the Future 2. So they released the shoes in 2011 in limited quantities. So the resale value on these is ridiculous. I actually have 30 pairs for myself right now. Alright y'all, so the first thing we're going to do is make sure that we deep clean the uppers. But I'm also going to deep clean the insoles as well. Usually you would use advanced sneaking cleaning solution. But my all my projects are heavy duty. So I have to use the laundry detergent instead. So you just want to scrub it down just to loosen up the dirt. And then you're going to want to put them in the washing machine after this. Yo, these air mags are mad trashed. Yo, someone tell Martin McFly to go to rejuvenator.com right now and order some cleaning products and use the rep code Manalo for a discount. Hey, yo, check it out. This plastic piece right now is oxidized. So to reverse this, I'm going to go to rejuvenator. Not rejuvenator. My bad. We're going to go to Rayleigh. Uh, my fault again. We're going to go to RaleighRestorations.com to order some products to remove that oxidation. And uh, also be sure to use my rep code Manalo for that one too. So I'm just cleaning up all of the plastic pieces on the shoes, the padding, the straps. I'm not too worried about the electronics getting messed up because uh, my dude Electro Kicks will be replacing all of the all of the electric components after I'm done cleaning the shoes. Now for the uppers, I want to make sure I scrub off all of the dirt on the fabric material just to loosen it up before I put it in the washing machine. So for this plastic part, I'm going to deoxidize the plastic material using Raleigh Restorations ice cream. And then I put it in my magical box to make the magic happen. And also, I, <laughs> I put it in a swatcher bottle for easier application. So I'm going to remove the icy soles on these, deoxidize them, and then re-glue them again using the same method I did on the clear plastic part on the sides. I did leave one part of the icy sole still intact on the shoes because I did want to protect the electrical part from the water damage, which I'm like, all right, well, I shouldn't have done that with a waste because it's going to get replaced anyways. Yeah, I should have just removed it right off the bat to save time. 
even after we've deep cleaned the uppers you can still see a little stains that are resurfacing on top that's that's a normal process it's called wicking so in order to fix this all we have to do is just clean the uppers again so just repeat the same steps until you're completely satisfied of all of the stains being gone so in order to do that you have to agitate the stains again by using a brush and a cleaning solution which i forgot to do on film so i'm just going to re-demonstrate it for you guys and so after you re-agitate the stains you can safely put them back in the washing machine and they'll come out brand spanking you So I'm just going to put them in the washing machine and before I press that start button, yo, these are pretty expensive shoes. So I want to add a little bit more cushion. So I'm going to add towels to these so they don't just bump around and get damaged. So I'm going to add towels just to be safe and be sure to use my rep code Manalo at checkout at Rashuvenator.com y'all. Thank you. All right. We're just going to pick heavy duty judge Judy. So I'm everything. It's totally cleaned. Next step is to fix the Nike Mag logo on the heel. So in order for us to do this, we have to decrease the plastic part first. It's actually made of foam. A phylon and so what you can do is use heat to increase this material I'm talking about Jordan 11s Jordan 14s Jordan 7 7s Jordan 10s anything with a phylon midsole Jordan 13s I think Jordan 12s all of that and I'm just gonna use a blow dryer for this and it's all the creases will just unwind and go back to normal and voila all the creases are gone Alright guys, I looked up how to make the color turquoise and it's basically just blue and green. Which reminds me of a friend's episode where Ross pretends to be clanking his glass to, to do a toast for a photo. But then people were cheering and then he just made an announcement. Yo, with the owner of a green LeSabre, um, please get your car, it's about to be towed. And the owner was like, yo, I got the green LeSabre, what's up? And then the Ross was like, oh my bad, it was blue. And he was like, yeah, it's blue. And he was just like, a oh, green blue? He was like, yeah, green blue. And then Ross was like, well, then go before it gets towed. Anyways, I'm a fan of Friends, and I'm pretty sure y'all are a fan of The Office, which I'm a fan too. So let's roll with it. All right, so for this step, guys, we're going to be using heat, cotton balls, and acetone to be removing that factory glue that is on the midsole. So when we glue our soles, it'll be a perfect bond. Oh, uh, by the way, the, the icy soles that I deoxidized didn't come out as clean as I want them to. So the dude sending me some new icy soles. These soles are icy, icy. They look, they, they look new, new. So they're pretty good. And I'm getting using my glue, Bar Cement Super Sick, to glue these shoes together. But yeah, speaking of trying to get ahead in life, but you don't know where to start. You can always start with your your health, your body. So if you don't know how to how to get that started, you know, like a jogger on your block would be cool. Just to get your 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 endurance up and if running ain't your thing you just always walk around the block you just want to be outside and get some vitamin d it's really great for your mental health so if you're feeling sad all the time if you feel like you don't know what to do in life just take care of your body first and your mind will be a lot more clear for me personally after taking care of my body after joining the gym i've noticed something very dramatic my god my dms are just full of of dudes man i have no what i don't know what it is i wish i get girls in my dms but all i get is dudes for some reason and i love every single one of you guys so don't get it twisted if i don't respond to your dm i will so right now i want to whiten the liner on the tongue but i can't use my whitening method because i'm afraid that it'll damage the the faux leather um because it has a lot of heat involved it has a lot of chemicals involved um and i'm only trying to whiten a little bit of material um, so there's a larger risk of damage on that leather. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm actually just going to airbrush it white 
and it'll look good as new. I'm going to add tooth into it, a fabric medium as well to thin it out so it doesn't feel crunchy. It'll still feel soft while looking coke white. This heel cup is pretty banged up from normal everyday use since the dude, whoever these belong to, they use them as beaters. So in order for me to make them look brand new again, all I'm going to be using is Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. So these are pretty wrinkled as much as a Nike Mag logo, so I'm just going to use a blow dryer to remove any of the creases as much as I could. So I don't know if you remember how yellowed or oxidized the, the original plastic piece was for the lights. So after putting them underneath the magical box, they unyellowed quite a bit but they are still pretty dingy but that's the best I can do only because these shoes were used as beaters so everything is pretty much glued at this point all I gotta do is ship them back to my boy and he'll take care of all of the electrical work Alright y'all, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did enjoy this video, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to your boy. And uh, comment down below what y'all thought. Make sure to follow my brother Electro Kicks. The link will be down in the description below. And uh, yeah man, take care and God bless. Hey yo, what's up you guys? It's John Manolo. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Not only will that thumb be blue, but it'll also help me reach other people that want to see these types of videos as well. And if you guys really want to see more, subscribe down below, guys. All right, man. Yeah, um, uh, let me just answer this question once and for all. I am Filipino. I eat balut. I eat dinigawang. I suck the bone marrow off of the uh, 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 nilaga, the bululu, whatever. I'm kapampangan. Tanay Dana, um, Sus Mario Josep, Alikamin Delu. So, yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> Peace.